I'm Ruth. And I'm Kalina. You've got a date with DNN News. Kenichiwa. Sala. Bonjour. Hola. We're a few weeks into the new school year at Bay Academy, but we're able to capture a few moments of the very first day. It was a beautiful day here at Bay Academy. Students and faculty were very excited to come off to school. The team organization sponsored the event to help bring in the very first day. Catch up with some of our folks here at Dade Academy. Hello, I'm Maury Wills. I'm the leader here, one of many leaders here at the school. It's certainly a pleasure to be here at Dade the Cab Academy of Technology and the Environment Charter School. This is our 13th year, and what an amazing year we're having so far. Um, Hi, I'm Principal Thomas. I am the elementary school principal here at the Cab Academy of Technology and Environment. As you can see today, I have my superhero mask on and I have my superpower date shirt because we are celebrating the first day of school. And we are... Good morning, I'm Dr. Keitha Taylor and I am the Chief Academic Officer here at the DeKalb Academy of Technology and Environment Charter School. My responsibilities include making sure that all of the students are prepared for learning on the first day. That includes making sure that they are scheduled appropriately for all of the special programs, their specials and core classes. Good morning. My name is Dr. Edwin Wilson. I am the middle school principal here at Dayton. And I'm so excited to be back here again uh, for another awesome school year. We have so many great things planned for the students. And we're just excited about all of our students and the students and the things that we have coming back this year. Hi, I am RJN Randolph, the Data Academy uh, technology teacher. Data Academy is the CAB Academy of Technology and Environment. And I emphasize on bringing out uh, or teaching critical thinking to our students here. Well, it's just been many more beautiful days here at Data Academy. I am Harry Payton, back to you. Everyone is talking about the total solar eclipse that happened last month since it was the first of its kind to occur in this region since 1776. People travel from all over the world to see the natural phenomenon. Wow. I hope you got to see the solar eclipse. If not, just go to the link listed on your TV screen to catch up on all we have missed. We'll be right back. Start. But that's nothing. Stop bluffing. Start loving. 
Welcome back to DNN News. Now it's time for a mystery to my history. Today's historical figure is Bessie Coleman, born in Atlanta, Texas, January 26, 1892. Bessie Coleman was the first African American woman to obtain a pilot license. In 1922, an era filled with racial and gender discrimination, Coleman was denied entry to every aviation school in America. So she learned French and moved to Europe to earn her pilot license in France from a well-known institution. In that same year, Coleman was the first African-American woman to stage a public flight in America. Coleman specializes in parachuting and stunt flying. She also earned a living barnstorming and performing aerial tricks. On April 30, 1926, Coleman was killed in an accident during a rehearsal for an aerial show. She was only 34 years old. Coleman remains a pioneer of women in a field of aviation. It's very important to know our history. It's also important to stay healthy by exercising and eating right. Here's our health tips of the day. Ever wonder why it's important to stay hydrated? Every system in your child's body depends on water. After all, your kids' bodies are 60% of water. Remember the rule of eating more fruits and vegetables? Well, it's because it's, it's good at replacing fluids. Fruits like grapes, watermelon, and oranges are filled with water. So are veggies like lettuce, cucumber, and celery. Stay tuned for more health Thank you for joining us today. I'm Helena and I'm Ruth. You got a date with DNN News. <laughs>